Hello students, uh, welcome to the channel English 360. I am Dhez Garg and today we are going to do a very important topic of English grammar and that is subject verb agreement or you can say subject verb concord. Subject verb agreement means that a uh, verb has always has to be in agreement with the subject in terms of person and number of the subject. So have a look at these um, four examples. Uh, he is a good player. They are good players. I am a good player. You are a good player. So the words highlighted in black are subjects here and the words highlighted in red are verbs. And as we can see that the verbs keep changing according to the change in the subject. As the subject keeps changing in terms of number or person. In terms of number means whether the subject is related to the first person or second person or third person. And in terms of number uh, we mean that uh, uh, the subject is singular or plural. So uh, we can say that... Uh, verb changes according to the number and person of the subject and it has to be in agreement with the subject so this is called subject verb agreement so we have to use verbs accordingly as per the subject i mean if the subject is singular then the verb has also to be a uh, singular and if the uh, subject is plural then we have to use the plural verbs after that plural subject so this is uh, governed by certain rules we will discuss those rules now so first of all uh, we can say that if your subject happens to be amongst these he she or it then we use either is or was okay if your subject is amongst these he she it or, or it we use is or was if your subject is uh, i then we use am or was with i if subject is uh, amongst uh, we you or they then we use are and were and in all other tenses we use plural verbs with i and you in this particular scenario uh, i have told you that we use am and was with i but in all other tenses we use plural verbs with i and you i and you are, are treated as plural subjects so uh, again uh, you know there are certain examples of singular and plural verbs if uh, there is a, uh, this identification if a verb uh, is uh, there uh, if there is first form of the verb uh, with s or es then that is singular if there is only first form of the verb then that is plural if there is use of does that means that is singular and if there is use of do then that is plural is am uh, denotes singular are denotes plural uh, was is singular were is plural and similarly has is singular and have is plural so it is very important for you to know all these things Thereafter, uh, there are certain sentences. Uh, you can go through these sentences based on the rules I have just discussed. That with he, she, uh, we use either verbs first form or does uh, as far as the present indefinite tense is concerned. Then I, we, you, they. And then, uh, uh, you know, there are certain examples of uh, present continuous and past continuous tense. And then, of course, present perfect and past perfect. Like with he, she, we have used has. Uh, is or was or does and with I, you, we, they, we have used do and have so so these are certain rules then uh, there is uh, rule number two that needn't and daren't are used in the plural form as model auxiliaries okay so uh, generally we see that he and she are followed by verbs first form plus s or es if I want to say that uh, he needs to go there okay if somebody has to go there somewhere then i can say that he needs to go there needs means verbs first form plus s so this shows singular verb but here in the negative uh, you can say uh, form uh, needn't and daren't say so these are used as plural forms okay so he need not do this work and she dare not do this work and uh, do this job so needn't and daren't are used in the plural form as model auxiliaries so these are not used as uh, main verbs so these are used as model auxiliaries he need not do this work we will not say he needs not we will not say this we will say he need not and similarly we will say she dare not do this job then is there are certain sup uh, suppositional sentences starting with if, as if, as though, if only. You know, they denote uh, either a wish or a pure supposition uh, when we imagine something. So, if somebody says, I wish he, a uh, dash a king, 
सो आवर आंसर हैज टू बी ही वर एकिंग यूजली वी यूज वोज विद ही इन नॉर्मल सर्कमस्टांसिस बट इफ यू फाइंड एनी विश एनी सपोजिशन देन इन दैट पर्टिकुलर केस यू विल यूज वर Similarly, if he were the captain, he is not the captain, but this is my supposition that if he were the captain, he would play me in the team. Right now, he is not the captain. I am just imagining if he were the captain. That's why I have used were with he. And she walks as if she were the first lady. She is not actually the first lady, but she walks as if. Okay, as if that means it is my supposition. So she walks as if she were the first lady. So in all these types of structures, we use were. then is uh, in optative sentences we use plural verb with singular subject okay uh, you know man proposes god disposes you might have heard this uh, sentence so in this we have used uh, god disposes that means verbs first form plus s uh, with god so god is a singular subject and we use a singular verb with it but in case of optative sentences god save the warrior okay when we wish or pray for something in optative sentences in that case the verb is used in plural form we will not say god saves the warrior we will say uh, god save the warrior or may god save the warrior clear then is rule number 5 a verb should agree uh, with its proper subject and we should not be deceived by error of proximity so this is the biggest problem and this is where most of the students commit mistakes you know sometimes what uh, happens is that subject is uh, uh, you know at a distance and sometimes we are deceived by error of proximity you know there is a particular word near the blank or near the verb and that is in plural or singular and subject is a bit far away so uh, we are not sure uh, which one is the subject and uh, you know we uh, use the verb according to that word. word which is a uh, near the verb and that is not actually the subject so here are a few examples the result of the students who appeared for the exam is to be declared soon the result is the subject neither the students nor the exam okay so the result is quite far away from the verb is so that is the reason of you can say a uh, mistake so we have to keep in mind we have to be very very clear about our subject it may be near it may be a bit far so the result of the students who appeared for the exam is to be declared soon the introduction of new measures has sent a shock wave across the political circle so new measures is not the subject we should not be deceived by this uh, s in the new measures our actual subject is the introduction which is singular and that's why we have used has and not have so okay so this is what i want to tell you that we should not be deceived by uh, you know our subject uh, which is near the verb and actually that, and that is not the subject we have to look out for the uh, you know correct subject then is sometimes two or more singular nouns or pronouns are joined by and and when these singular nouns and pronouns are joined by and singular subjects are joined by and then they take a plural verb this is very clear you he and i study together because there is more than one subject here so we use plural verb he and i were watching television yeah in him were seen the traits of self belief and honesty so in him were seen the traits the traits are a plural i mean which which traits we are talking uh, of here self belief and honesty that means uh, self belief and honesty are joined by and so in such scenario we use plural verbs here but if the noun refers to the same person thing or one idea singular verb is used this is really important students keep this thing in mind but if the noun refers to the same person thing or one idea singular verb is used i uh, it may be possible that two singular subjects are joined by and but they may be referring to one single idea one single thing so in that case we treat them as singular like rice and curry it may be deceiving on the first look that rice is singular curry is uh, singular so you know if these two singular subjects as per rule are joined by and then it becomes plural no rice and curry refers to one particular dish they refer to one particular idea so rice and curry is my favorite dish that's why i have used singular here the horse and carries this is one thing okay the horse and carries are uh, associated together so the horse and carries is uh, carries is at the station my friend and guide has come 
my friend who is also my guide okay that is a uh, guide is not a different person my friend is also my guide so uh, this refers to the same person that's why i have used here has instead of have next rule says when two or more singular subjects are connected by these words either with together with along with okay in addition to besides as well as and the list goes on uh, you can uh, uh, have a look at all these words the verb is in singular because and the reason is that these words are parenthetical i mean these are not a part of the subject these are additional words these are parenthetical words the suitcase with all its contents was stolen okay so contents should not deceive us here okay the suitcase and thereafter the word is with all its contents with all its contents means this is additional information this is parenthetical okay so the suitcase is our subject the suitcase was stolen so according to the suitcase we have used was here not according to the contents the gangster along with his followers was arrested so you know we should not be deceived by the word followers here that the gangsters and the followers you know make it plural the gangster is the subject here along with his followers uh, this is additional information so our subject is the gangster he and not you is to blame so with he we use is and not you is additional here so we will not use are or anything else uh, according to you here he uh, is our subject and we are using is here according to he that means if you know uh, our subjects when two or more singular subjects are connected by these words which i am talking about with together with so we have to keep in mind the first one and we have to use the verb according to the first subject only mohan as well as his family members is coming okay not are coming because mohan is the first subject and as well as that means that is additional information so mohan as well as his family members is coming then is rule, uh, rule number 8 two or more singular subjects connected by or or nor take a singular verb but when one of the subjects is plural the verb must be plural and the plural subject should be placed nearest the verb when the subjects are of different persons the verb agrees with the nearer so i mean to say that when two or more singular subjects are connected by or or nor then it uh, takes a singular verb but when one of the subjects is plural the verb must be plural and the plural subject should be placed nearest the verb okay it should come later that means if the verb is thereafter and if the subjects are of two uh, different persons then the verb agrees with the uh, uh, subject which is uh, you can say near nearer the verb the verb agrees with the subject which is uh, quite near to it so uh, you know the examples are neither he nor his friend is guilty so neither he nor his friend i mean both are singular here so we have used is here either the sir or the madam has been here so again both are singular and joined by either or so we have used singular here neither the principal nor the teachers now have a look here uh, the principal is singular the teachers are plural here and we have used the plural verb were according to the plural subject the teachers and we have deliberately put this particular word the teachers near the verb if one of the subject subjects happens to be the plural then it must be placed near the verb okay and then is either you or i am in the wrong okay there are two different persons here you or i are two different persons and again i or you are two different persons then verb agrees with the subject which is near to it that means either you or i am and in the second case uh, it becomes either i or you are in the first one it is according to i and in the second one it is according to you because uh, both these are you know quite near the verb then is the next rule either neither each everyone and many a are followed by a singular verb if you find the use of any of these words then uh, you can be very sure that the verb which is to follow next will be singular either of the two brothers has the potential to do this some neither of these two roads leads to delhi uh, each of them is honest every one of the players wants to do well in the game many a man has come many a ma many a takes singular verb okay many is a you can say is a literary use okay everybody should protect himself from loo and th there is one more thing here everybody should protect himself not themselves 
himself we use here but if there is a uh, you know by, um, there is a case of question tag then we use they not he or she everybody cannot help you can they keep this thing in mind if we have to put the question tag after everybody then we have to use they and if we have to uh, use uh, you know uh, these kind of words everybody should protect himself then we have to use uh, you can say in, in case of reflexive pronouns we have to use himself or herself then is two singular nouns qualified by each every or no though connected by and take singular verb earlier uh, you know uh, we uh, have read the rule that if two singular subjects are joined by the word and then that becomes plural and we use plural verb but if those two singular subjects are qualified by these words if you find the use of each or every or no before those two singular subjects then again it remains singular it doesn't become plural like each boy and each girl was honored if i say one boy and one girl then it uh, it will become one boy and one girl were honored but if i say each boy and each girl that means it becomes uh, was uh, similarly no boy and no girl again will use was otherwise if we don't find use of these words each no or every then we would have used a plural form here plural verb here but plural noun or pronoun followed by each take plural form if there is plural noun or a pronoun and that is followed by each then that takes plural form like we each have a pen okay and because in this sentence first of all we have plural pronoun we and after that we have used each then in that case we use plural form we each have a pen next is some nouns are plural in form but singular in meaning they take singular verb there are some nouns which are plural uh, in uh, form but uh, there are sing singular in meaning like economics is a subject but uh, with the use of s uh, you know it gives the impression that it is a plural subject but actually it is singular similarly news and then wages so in all these cases we have used we have used is that means uh, the you can say nouns uh, seem to be uh, plural but they are actually singular some nouns are singular in form but plural in meaning take a plural verb have a look at some examples if we go by the present market rate two dozen cost 100 rupees so dozen on the face of it looks similar uh, singular i mean it doesn't have any s or es but still we know that one dozen contains 12 entities so dozen is plural and it uh, and the verb used is also plural uh, we have used cost instead of costs next rule says when the plural noun is a proper name for some single object or some collective unit it must be followed by a singular verb if the plural noun is a proper name for some single object or some collective unit uh, like uh, if we talk of some books if we talk of um, you know some country names the arabian nights uh, so uh, the night suggests uh, uh, that uh, you know it is plural but actually this is a book similarly gulliver's travel so this is also singular and the united states view as we all know that is a country so that is also singular so in all these cases we have used singular verbs next rule is when a plural noun denotes some specific quantity or amount considered as a whole the verb takes singular form sometimes uh, plural nouns are there and they denote some specific quantity or amount but still uh, that is considered as a whole then we take it in in the singular way 10 kilometers though it is plural but still it is a distance it is a single unit you can say so we have used is 10000 rupees so this is a this is also an amount 20 minutes is also a time period you can say in, in a singular sense and two thirds of the city so uh, two thirds also we can say this is a part so we can also treat it in the singular way so it is also uh, you can say a singular subject treated as a singular subject and takes a singular verb then is uh, there are some collective nouns like jury media audience company etc they generally take a singular verb when the subject stands for the collection as a whole and they take plural verb when the subject stands for the individuals of which it is composed it depends on how we interpret it like the committee has issued its report in in this sentence the committee is uh, seen as a single unit 
so that's why uh, we have already been given with the word its its means that is it is a single unit so the committee has issued we have treated the committee as a one unit and uh, we have treated it in the singular way and the the second example is the committee are divided in their opinions are divided in their opinions that means that we are referring to the committee members here so the committee is not uh, are seen as a single unit it is seen as a uh, you can say group of certain members so in that sense we will use are instead of is so it depends upon the interpretation and how that particular word is used in the context a relative pronoun must agree with its antecedent in gender number and person there are certain relative pronouns like who which uh, uh, etc so it must agree with its antecedent antecedent means uh, that comes immediately before uh, that particular word so the, uh, we have to use the verb according to the subject that comes just before the relative pronoun like it is he who is to blame it is he who is relative pronoun he is here and the antecedent is he so we have to use the verb according to he so he takes is he is it is he who is to blame it is i who am to blame we have used am according to i similarly it is you who are to blame so we are seeing that every time uh, we are using the verb according to the antecedent of who i mean the verb the subject that comes ju comes just before the relative pronoun he has invited his friends who are coming tomorrow his friends is plural and there after uh, therefore we have used are after who next is the verb agrees with the number of the noun that follows the verb when a sentence starts with there uh, there are some uh, sentences which start with there there is introductory there so we have to use the verb according to the uh, you can say noun following the verb if that is plural we have to use the plural verb we you know because there doesn't give any indication we have to look out for the nouns uh, those are uh, you can say used after the verb like in the first example there is no leaf on the tree so leaf is singular here so there is no leaf on the tree so we have to use is according to the leaf again in the second one there were many players players is plural so we have used over here and similarly boys is also plural so we have used are so it depends upon the uh, noun you can say following the verb then is uh, a number of a variety of and uh, then is uh, the number of or the a variety of plus plural noun a number of or a variety of suggests a big number okay and we use plural form with it and the number and the variety of suggests a specific number and that is followed by a singular verb a number of students were present there a number of uh, signifies many so a number of students were present there the number of students is 40 the number suggests that there is a particular number and that particular number means that is singular a variety of pleasing objects charm the eyes a variety of means there are many different objects the variety of items was released by all the variety means uh, it is seen as a single unit the variety variety in itself is single uh, singular okay so there is a difference between a number of the number of and a variety of the variety of with a number of and a variety of we use the plural verbs and the number of and the variety of we use singular verbs thereafter if all means everything it is treated as singular if it denotes the number of uh, person or objects it is treated as plural okay you might have seen the movie three reads in which uh, there is a famous uh, a dialogue all is well all is well means that everything is all right everything is all right and if uh, i say all are well all means means everybody all persons are well so they take different meanings according to the context you have to keep this this thing in mind all is well means everything is all right okay and all are well mean we are referring to persons or objects here then is little a little the little much etc uh, when used as a subject in the sentence they take singular verb like little is known much has been said on this issue okay so when uh, these uh, words are used as subjects then they take singular verb it as an introductory subject always takes singular verb irrespective of the number and persons of the noun or pronouns following it when we use it as an introductory subject thereafter we always most more often than not we use is irrespective of the number or the person of the subjects following is like it is i 
it is you it is they it is we this all are correct uh, i you they and we are immaterial here they do not matter as long as it starts with it and it is and after it uh, you know uh, we are we are using i you they or we so these do not uh, impact uh, the kind of verb we are using here so it always takes is or you can say was can also be used if it is a case of past tense then is in case of noun in apposition verb is used according to the subject coming before the noun phrase sometimes noun is in apposition noun in apposition means that uh, there are certain phrases uh, which give more information about noun or which elaborate the noun which define the noun like i mr sharma i am very considerate i i myself uh, am mr sharma i mr sharma i am very considerate rohit my younger brother or you can also say rohit who is my younger brother okay so rohit my younger brother was considered for this job we have used rohit also we have used my younger brother also and this is called noun in apposition and uh, uh, we use the uh, verb according to the subject coming before it if i have used rohit then it is singular i used was here and in case of i i have used am and not according to mr sharma uh, if you find the use of one of the and then uh, you know use of plural noun or pronoun or relative pronoun who which or that then that takes plural verb according to the plural noun or pronoun and not the singular verb according to one this is very important like uh, you know you will understand with the help of examples here he is one of the finest cr cricketers who have played for this country he is one of the finest cricketers so you know sometimes uh, uh, we might commit a mistake here that uh, he is one of the one of the finest cricketer means and uh, that one of those cricketers that means it is singular and we have to use uh, singular verb after who but this is not the case we do not have to consider one here we have to use uh, only one word that is coming before relative pronoun who and that is cricketers and cricketers is a plural verb word and we have to use plural verb uh, according to this word similarly she is one of those who advise me what to do and what not to she is one of those those means it is plural and uh, i have to use the plural verb advise here according to this those not one of those uh, i have to use the verb according to only the word those next is a plus a singular collective noun plus of plus plural nouns take singular verb like a team of players players are plural but a team of players is singular a herd of oxen uh, oxen is plural but a herd of oxen is singular so we have to use accordingly next is singular uncountable nouns like furniture advice information luggage percentage knowledge electricity water wind etc take singular verb like all his luggage has been stolen water flows and wind blows so uh, these words uh, uncountable nouns take singular verb then is if the name of any country is used to denote his sports team then it takes plural verb if indian team represents india then we say that india have defeated australia in second test match we will not say india has okay india means here that indian cricket team those are 10 or 11 odd members but if this is seen as a geographical unit or as a whole then it takes singular verb like india is a great country okay if india means indian team then uh, it takes plural verb next is uh, here this word generally here is used as a singular noun but in specific meaning uh, when it is qualified by a number then it takes plural form like her hair is grow gray okay her hair is gray so we will not use hairs or are gray we will have to say her hair is gray because hair in itself is plural but it takes singular verb and if but if uh, you know i say that he has only four hairs on his head so in that means uh, i am qualifying this word here with the uh, you can say a number 4 5 3 so in that case it can become plural and we can say that there are four hairs on his head next is verb used after as so neither no takes singular or plural form according to the number and person of the later subject like amit sings well as does his brother okay amit sings well as dash his brother his brother dash, dash that means that is singular his brother 
and sings means that uh, it it the, the word sings gives uh, us the indication that it is present indefinite similarly uh, i will use does does is also uh, you can say a helping verb of present indefinite he wants to go there this is present indefinite tense and so dash i with i i i do not use uh, does so i will have to use do here so he wants to go there so do i my teacher does not rebuke me nor do my parents so again does not this is a present indefinite or simple present tense and my parents uh, i can say that my parents is a plural subject and with plural subjects we use do so nor do my parents i hope that uh, uh, you have understood this that if uh, you know uh, there are certain verbs used after as so neither nor and uh, they take singular or plural form according to the number or person of the later subject okay the subject coming after those verbs next is people police cattle peasantry gentry poultry cavalry they take plural verbs actually this is misprinting uh, the word will be plural verb so the police are changing the culprit okay so the, we will not say the police is changing we will say the police are changing the culprit similarly we will say the ca uh, cattle are grazing people are moving here and there so these all these words take plural verbs there is inversion is used in sentences starting with the, these words like hardly scarcely rarely seldom never and verb is used before the subject and according to this uh, subject and its number and person like hardly dare she call me hardly dash he call me hardly does he call me okay never dash i believe him so uh, with i we use do and with he we use does so accordingly we have used the verbs here next is as with invisible they takes plural form okay when the uh, the word they is invisible and uh, we have uh, used the word as then that takes plural form there were not so many students as dash expected so this sentence can be framed in two ways like there were not so many students as it was expected or as they were expected so there can be invisible they also or there can be invisible it also so if there is invisible they we will use plural form and if there is invisible it then we can take singular form it depends on your interpretation you are uh, free to interpret it in your own way unless uh, and uh, you know there is a specific mention of something nouns like amends archives compasses spectacles goods pants shoes scissors etc are always plural and descriptives like the rich the poor are also plural that means some adjectives uh, you know accompanied by uh, the and you know the some adjectives following the they, they become descriptive so my shoes are lying there the rich the rich are not that means all are uh, rich persons the rich rich community you can say and but when uh, used with a pair of they are singular my shoes are plural but a pair of shoes because shoes are two but pair is one so a pair of shoes is singular here then is none may take singular or plural verb according to the sense none of the servants were there that means no servant was present there i have used plural form here for all the servants i asked for a servant but none was there i required only one servant but that was also not there so it depends on the sense we can either use singular or plural according to the sense and, uh, and then there is uh, pains and means take either the singular or plural verb but the construction must be consistent pains can take either singular or plural great pains have been taken much pains has been taken okay with much we have used has and with great pains we have used have all possible means have been tried means means method or processes the means employed by you is sufficient okay in this sense the means employed by you means that particular method adopt, adopted by you it is singular in the previous case all possible means that means it was plural in the sense of income the word means always takes a singular verb sometimes means uh, also means income so in that sense it always takes the plural verb my means were ample my means were ample so students uh, these were uh, the rules and here uh, i have given you some sentences uh, to try and uh, you can take the screenshots also uh, these are 35 sentences here 
and you will uh, try solving these uh, exercises and uh, you know uh, you will be able to know how well you have understood this topic so i hope that uh, you understood this topic and uh, uh, you like this video uh, if you found this uh, topic to be fruitful then please uh, like it uh, share it and uh, do subscribe my channel english 360 thank you